Бажаю здоров'я, шановні українці. I wish you health, dear Ukrainians. Only two days have passed since the beginning of the year, and the number of Iranian drones shot down over Ukraine is already more than 80. This number may increase in the near future, because these weeks the nights can be quite restless. We have information that Russia is planning a prolonged attack with Shahed's. Its bet may be on exhaustion, on exhaustion of our people, our air defense, our energy sector. But we must ensure, and we will do everything for this, that this goal of terrorists fails like all the others. On January the 2nd, I would like to mention the Air Command Center South East for the successful protection of the sky these days, and especially the warriors of the 96th Cave, 208th Kherson and 138th Dnipro anti-aircraft missile brigades, the 301st Nikopol anti-aircraft missile regiment of the Air Forces, as well as the warriors of the 39th anti-aircraft missile regiment of the ground forces. Of course, I am grateful to our pilots the pilots of our fighters and warriors of mobile firing groups. Now is at the time when everyone involved in the protection of the sky should be especially attentive. The Russian regime needs mobilizing emotions, something they want to demonstrate to their country in order to continue lying that everything is going according to the plan. And our task is to give Ukraine everyday successes, achievements, even small, yet victories over terrorists and terror. Each shot down drone, each shot down missile, each day with electricity for our people and minimal schedules of outages are exactly such victories. And every step forward of our servicemen at the front line, every saved position is such successes that are of strategic importance now. We must increase the price of new mobilization and war in general for the terrorist state as much as possible. I am grateful to every warrior of ours who ensures this. I am grateful to everyone who stands near Bakhmut. I am grateful to everyone who, despite everything, holds positions in Solidar and other areas. Thank you for the Luhansk region for the south. No matter how difficult it is, we must endure it, for it to be easier at the end of this winter. On January the 2nd, I spoke with President of the European Commission Ursula von der Leyen. I am glad that the first international conversation in the new year was held with the head of the European Commission. We equally understand the challenges of this winter. This year for Ukraine and the whole of Europe, we have discussed financial support for our state. In January, we expect the first tranche of microfinancial aid, as was agreed upon last year. This is extremely important right now, when Russia is trying to gather new forces for aggression. We have also also discussed the preparation of the Ukraine-EU summit to be held in early February. I believe that at this summit we will be able to outline the key new steps for this year for our common resilience, for our common victory. On January the 2nd I held a special preparatory meeting with the members of the NSDS and representatives of the Cabinet of Ministers, the Verkhovna Rada and the Office on global trends for Ukraine this year and in the future. I instructed to elaborate draft decisions of the national Security and Defense Council for the internal transformation of our state to continue and for us to ensure security and leadership of Ukraine under any external conditions. I am grateful to everyone who will be on duty at combat posts tonight. I am grateful to all who are fighting for our native Ukraine. I am grateful to everyone who helps. Glory to Ukraine.